dun, 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 uh, how many Star Wars movies have you seen, Brittany? One. Uh, but after tonight, it will be two. Come stand in front of the magical and mystical Christmas tree. Here it comes. There it is. Ta-da! Ta-da! You get Captain America, you get the Hulk, and most importantly, you get the Batman. And there's Darth Vader. Okay, we got the Sour Patch Kids. You at least need this many to watch a two-hour movie because you'll run out. If you run out, well, your head just explodes. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited to see Star Wars. This would be my one, two... I've seen three Star Wars films in the theaters. Would you like to know which ones those were, Brittany? Yes. Okay, I'm going to tell you since you asked. Where are my shoes? Okay, so the first Star Wars movie I've ever seen in the theater was with my stepdad back in 1999. It was the magical, it was the mystical, and it was the fan favorite, The Phantom Menace. Everything I just said wasn't true. Well, the first part was. I actually did see it in the theater. Uh, when I watched that movie for the first time, I thought it was cool, but even when I was a young kid, I wanted to punch young Anakin Skywalker in the face. Yippee! So I knew there was something wrong. I like the way your shoes match your shirt. Yeah, it feels good. Okay, uh, do you want to sneak those in your, your purse? Put them in your purse. Put them, put them, put them, put them. Bring my big yeah. I'll bring my popcorn. Rule bro. number one when you go to see a movie, at least always bring a girl with you because if a guy carries a big bag, he's just up to no good. If a girl does it, well, it just makes sense. Would you like to see the power of the force, Brittany? I'd love to. Open, you will. You're a magician. No, I'm a Jedi. <laughs> Am I going to get a tripod? There we go. All right, so Brittany, yes. uh, let's hear the theme song from Star Wars. I know you can hum it, go. <laughs> give me it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's wrong. Just do it, just give me it, just give it. Do, 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 How does it go? Well, Harrison Ford is in both <laughs> movies. All right, Brittany, are you ready to uh, get there in seven parsecs? What? I think I can do it in six. Do you have any clue what I'm talking about? No. Let's do it! <laughs> Is this a, a Back to the Future reference? I'm gonna pull over up here. I'm gonna let you out. Okay? What is it? Is it Star Wars? It's Star Wars. That would make too much sense. We're going to see Star it Wars. It would. It really would. Is it a Back to the Future Can I do reference? that over again? 1.21 gigawatts! <laughs> no! <laughs> Pulling up to the theater right now. Uh, I'm gonna cut this car off in front of me. Anyway, uh, we have about 10 minutes before the movie starts. I always do this. I can never get to a movie on time. It's just it's something inside my DNA. I have to get here at the last second, run into the theater, do a cartwheel, do a backflip, punch an old man in the head, and sit down in the seat. That's how I get to every single movie. Uh, but the best thing is we actually have reserved seats or else we'd be shit out of luck. Uh, because even the, the crappy seats, uh, when I went to buy these tickets, were all sold out. You know, the ones where you break your neck to watch the movie. So, park here. <laughs> this here is called a park job. You wanted to cuddle. Oh, yeah. See? There's a, there's a line there. But they said, fuck that. <laughs> okay. I left my, did I bring my Sour Patch Kids? It doesn't matter. I have them. Okay, good. Um, so anyway, it's 31 degrees out. Um, Star Wars, Rogue One, Star Wars story. My initial thoughts. I liked it. It's better than I actually thought it would be. I like the tone. I like the vibe. I thought a lot of the, like, everything that took place in space with, like, the, the Star Destroyers and the Death Star, at times, it almost looked like miniatures, like models. And I know it was probably 99% CG, but I liked that it looked like that. Like, it didn't just look like glossy CGI stuff happening in space. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, um, I would have liked to see just a tidbit more of, of Darth Vader. Just a tidbit. Why does everyone want to see, want to see more Darth Vader? Because he's a badass. He's the biggest badass in the galaxy. And he's one of the most iconic villains of all time. So when you have an opportunity to showcase this character that everyone loves, I'm not saying I needed him to be one of the main stars of the film. I don't need an hour dedicated to him with a subplot. I just wanted maybe like five more minutes. Just give me five more minutes. But what they do give you, I like it. And there's one really yeah. badass scene with Darth Vader where he takes care of business. And I was like, just more of that. Just give me just a little bit more of that. <sighs> I agree. 
What do you think about the main chick? Uh, I like her. Yeah, she's yeah. She's very likable. Jen Urso. Yeah, she's really cool. She's okay. I, I the thing with all the characters in the movie, though, I didn't really like any of them. Really? I didn't dislike them, but the, not. I didn't really feel attached to any of them. The character I liked best in this movie was what was the robot's name? Tell me the robot's name. The cat? No, Cassian was the other guy. No, it was. SQ R7 or something. Oh. I'm gonna put my uh, my 3D glasses you on. You kept them? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Why the fuck would you recycle these? I recycle. Why? When will I ever wear those again? So they can take them back, clean them with some Windex, and resell them to you well, for an overpriced. Somebody already wore those ones that you're wearing on your face. Right yeah, now. and now I'm gonna keep them, and they're gonna be mine. I'm gonna go home and wash them myself. <laughs> uh, I would say my biggest flaw with this movie was I didn't latch on to any of the characters. Not to say that they're bad. There's just nothing to make you latch on. And I tried to, but I was like, yeah, they're all kind of forgettable in in one way or another. But my favorite character wasn't even a human character. It was the droid K2SO. Probably the best character in the movie. Mm -hmm. He's funny. He's kind of a badass at times, and he's very uh, he's very honest. He just says whatever is on his mind, and I, I liked that. I think every movie needs a character like that. What did you think about the blind man? Oh, Donnie Yen. Um, yeah. yeah, he was he was force sensitive, and uh, I liked how he just took care of business. He had some of the coolest action scenes in the movie. I really liked it. Yes, Darth Vader. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm sorry, it's late. Uh, Darth Vader was just choking me. By the way, Darth Vader Pez dispenser, it's very large. Um, I'm about to record my Star Wars review. I'm here in my flick studio. I'm very tired, my eyes are bloodshot, can you tell? But yeah, I'm just setting up a few things before I shoot my review. By the way, if you guys wanna watch my review, it's over on my second channel, The Flick Pick, my main channel, I'll put the link to that down below, so check that out. I wrote some notes for the review. Actually, I typed them out because my handwriting is terrible. If I were to handwrite this much information, I couldn't read any of it. That's the truth. Uh, so I typed out some notes for my review. Uh, I don't script my reviews. I just type out bullet points and notes uh, because when you're sitting there talking in front of the camera, it's easy to miss things and forget how to pronounce certain things. And like the robot K2SO, K2SO, I can remember that. But when I'm sitting in front of my camera reviewing the movie, I will forget, or I'll just completely fuck it up. Review the movie, you will. Yes, muscular Darth Vader. Yeah, by the way, Bane. He's kind of like uh, the new version of Darth Vader, but for, for Batman, isn't he? Uh, even sounds the same with that robotic voice. Turn on the, uh, the softbox lights. There we go. Okay, it's been a long night. Uh, I'm very tired. I seen the movie at seven. It is now uh, like almost two o'clock in the morning. My like my eyes. Are you gonna have to put me in a Darth Vader suit soon? It feels like I. Fell into a pool of melting lava, and um, and uh, it doesn't stop here. After I push record, then I talk for a half hour, then I have to go home and probably sit there and edit the video for the next five hours, and I just want to sleep. So, anyway, guys, uh, yeah, leave your thoughts, your opinions on Rogue One. What'd you think about the new movie? Yeah, let me know all that down below. And by the way, look out for my Rogue One movie review over in the Flip Pick channel, like I said. And by the way, thank you for everyone who joined me on Patreon this month. By the way, if you guys want to check out my Patreon, I have some really cool perks. One of them includes a live Google Hangout session just with me and you guys. Yeah, you grab some popcorn, we can talk about movies, and we can talk about Rogue One. So yeah, if you guys want to check that out, check out my Patreon. I'll put the link down below in the description box. Boop. But yeah, big thanks to everyone who did join me on Patreon. I really do appreciate it, and uh, you guys really do help uh, make videos possible. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts, your opinions down below, and I'll see you guys next one. May the Force be with you.